what's going on guys it's Cassandra here and today is the day where I'll be talking about my predictions for the new rides coming to the Six Flags chain the largest amusement park chain in the world now a really good thing about Six Flags is that every single year they're gonna be adding a new ride or attraction to one of their Six Flags parks now of course that means that it's gonna be easier to predict um, what the, each park will be getting just because we know that every single C uh, Six Flags park will be getting a new ride. That does not mean that most predictions are really easy, but I'll just be trying to predict it. And I'm predicting that like probably most of them will be wrong just because this prediction video, it basically just for fun just to see if we're right or wrong. But it could be right. Who knows? So I'll be going from the best park all the way down to the last park and giving you my predictions for each Six Flags park. That means we're starting off at Six Flags Magic Mountain, the park with the most coasters at any park in the world. Now, without a doubt, this park is probably going to get a Mac coaster. The popular rumor is they could be getting a Mac multi lodge coaster, which I think is a great choice, something like Helix at Leesburg. And there are also some names flying around, too. The names are Max Forest and West Coast Racers. The popular rumor is West Coast Racers out of the two, and I personally think that is the better name, too, just because there have been teasers at Six Flags Magic Mountain. There have been teasers such as, like, Racing Towards Better Thrills in 2019, and two is better than one. That sure does sound like it can be a racing Mac multi-launch coaster. And that also does fit with one of the names, West Coast Racers. And that's what I'll be predicting for Six Flags Magic Mountain, a racing Mac multi-launch coaster named West Coast Racers. Next up is Six Flags Great Adventure. This is pretty plain and simple. I think they're going to be getting a sky warp. There is the, like that area um, right by Justice League and Cyborg Cyberspin. There's like a big area right there. Um, I think they'll be adding it in that area. And also, um, there had been some of the sky warp spot. And that uh, buyer was probably Six Flags, most likely. There have been issues with the sky warp at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. But since that one was the first one of its kind, you were expecting it to have some problems. Problems. But I'm predicting a sky warp to come to Six Flags Great Adventure in 2019. I think it'll be a good fit. No park I'm predicting to get another coaster is Six Flags Great America. They have cleared some space, and I think there will go in RMC Raptor. This coaster could fit in the space that they are clearing and will make their coaster lineup a lot better by adding another RMC. Now a park I just visited is Six Flags New England and I think they'll be getting a water park expansion. They haven't gotten one in the last five years and I definitely do think that it can benefit the park. Maybe like a new slide. I mean they also could go with a water coaster but that's probably unlikely. But I mean just like a new slide, slide complex, something like that. They just got a giant discovery last year and an SNS. 40 free spin the year before that so i definitely do think that an off year will be good for this park six flags fiesta texas they just got one woman golden lasso coaster but that does not stop me from saying that they'll be getting a new thrill ride i think that will be an abc tour billion i'm guessing that they would name it cyborg cyber spin or harley quinn spin sanity like the other ones that have came to six flags parks no i actually like the abc rides uh tour billion because i really do want it um, Six Flags Red Adventure Cyborg Cyberspin. It is very shorter than what people were expecting, but it still is a very weird and but it still is an enjoyable ride. Definitely do think it will be a great fit for Six Flags Fiesta Texas to sweeten up their thrill ride package. The first ever Six Flags Park is up next. Now this is another park that I'm predicting to get a water park expansion. Maybe add like a new slide, a slide complex, something like that, just like Six Flags New England. But I definitely do think they're beginning off here. They've uh, added a lot of good stuff in the past year. I definitely think they're going to be getting an off year this year. The Six Flags Park that is the closest to me is Six Flags Over Georgia. So, I mean, it is about time that they should be getting a water park expansion. They have not added something to Hurricane Harbor in a long time. So, I think it is time to turn around the attention to the water park and maybe just get some 
new slides. The only park in Mexico, Six Flags Mexico, is the next park. And surprisingly, I think this is the only park in the chain that will be getting a Larson Super Loop this year. A couple years ago, there were like four Super Loops going to the Six Flags chains, but since like last year and this, uh, I'm predicting this year, I think there's only going to be one Super Loop. Super Loops aren't the best thrill rides, but they still are enjoyable, and that's what I think will be going to Six Flags Mexico. I'm thinking that a Sky Warp will be coming coming to Six Flags St. Louis. St. Louis hasn't been getting that many um, good rides lately, but I think they could probably step it up by getting a Sky Warp this year. Now there is a rumored new coaster for 2020, which Six Flags St. Louis definitely needs, but just this year, I'm thinking they can get a Sky Warp. Finally, I think Six Flags America could be getting a new coaster, but it's actually not going to be a new coaster. It is going to be a uh, conversion from Stand Up to Flawless of Apocalypse. I'm predicting that they're going to retheme it, give it a new name, and add those floorless trains and make it a way better ride just because apocalypse right now is definitely not the best ride ever now the whole reason behind my prediction for this is that there are signs around apocalypse that are saying terminus terminus means the end and of course that's the reason for me why i'm predicting they will become a floorless coaster just because it could be the end of a stand-up coaster on Apocalypse. Now, what do you think Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Valencia, California will get? I think that they could probably just get a family ride package, maybe like two or three. It would be a good fit, just add to their family rides. They got a Sky Warp last year, and I think they could just be getting some flats this year. Now, the only park in Canada, Six Flags La Ronde. I'm guessing they'll just be getting like a flat ride just to add to their collection. They were like supposed to get three flat rides last year, so but they only got one. So I think they just like make a part of that by getting one family ride to add to their collection. The last park on this video, Great Escape in New York. I'm predicting they're going to get nothing much, probably just a water park expansion, maybe like a splash pad that's like as Six Flags like. Um, what normally does for a great escape, like a splash pad or maybe like a new slide, that'll be a pretty good fit for the water park, even though, like, the water park is actually pretty decent, it doesn't really need that much more stuff, but knowing Six Flags is probably gonna get that. So that wraps up my predictions for all of the new rides coming to the Six Flags parks in 2019, but as you guys may have noticed, I did not include Frontier City and Darien Lake in this just because Six Flags just bought them and we're not really sure what they'll be getting them because they like just bought them. Um, so I mean, uh, th that will definitely be happening next year though. Definitely be putting them in this list. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos coming here to Coast Central Productions and I'll see you guys later.